What's going on, y'all? Bayou Bandit here. I hadn't put out a video in a long time because I've been working on something. A lot of people have been asking about flounder gigging charters, bow fishing trips, spec red fishing trips. Uh, I didn't have my captain's license, so I've gone to sea school. I'm now a captain. I've got uh, to wait a while for my paperwork and all to get sent off to the Coast Guard and get back. But the old boat's fishing to get a makeover. Take a good look at it now because it's going to look totally different before long. I'm going to have a larger bow deck. I'm going to add another four foot to the bow deck. Uh, my lights are going to get completely redone. Higher rail, safer rail. It's going to go uh, to along here and then taper down. Uh, I'm going to put in a live bait whale. Uh, whole bunch of stuff guys i'm gonna do probably paint the completely paint the outside of the boat redo the tough coat uh a lot of fab work cutting welding uh painting wiring it's gonna be a process uh may take me about two months but i will video all i do to it and put some videos out for that while i'm getting everything ready but i wanted everybody to know that i will be chartering in the near future uh I'm going to change my YouTube channel name to Bayou Bandit Charters as well as my Facebook group. Uh, so here we go guys. Might have been a 50 year old blade. <laughs> no, it had been a misused. 50 year old craftsman, weighs about 240 pounds. <laughs> You want to get again? I got power.
got the demo work done for the live bait well. Got room for the lid to open. That's all I'm gonna do to it at this point. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I put my deck in. That bow deck is gonna be continued to about along in here. I'm adding another four foot to it. So I'll have my original storage box is covered up. So now I've got to cut those out. Which I'm dreading because that's going to be a lot of work. But they got to come out. guys got everything cut out cleaned up all the tough coat from around the perimeter and now we're fixing to start extending the bow deck all right guys it's three in the morning this is day two i can only work on my boat on the weekend so this is day two we've made a lot of progress my dad's helped me out tremendously this is what we've got the boat looks a lot different. We've got steps here, thumbs up. We've extended the bow deck. We've got the fish cooler that is built in. We've got a trap door, rake the flounder off. Hadn't got my hinges on yet, but then we can open the big lid as well. We've got cooler seat right there. This is going to be dry storage. That big compartment for dry storage. Anybody that goes on a charter, they have plenty of room to put their stuff. And bait well, live bait well, still got to go in there. Uh, and one cool thing about these steps, we took advantage of some storage space course we have our hatch for that but and I hadn't got that welded, in, welded in there yet but it will be these are on hinges it'll hinge up and over and that gives me access to put uh, my bows in the cases on one side and probably rod tubes I should be able to get about 12 rods and rod tubes in there I've got about eight foot up to the bow, and uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I can store all my rods under the deck, out of the way. I've had problems in the past of uh, people, including me, going back for a cast and catching one of these rods standing up and uh, breaking an eye. So, if I can stow them under the deck, that will be real good. Uh, with that being said, this area here, I've got to do a little uh, design work on it. It's just going to be storage without a hatch. Uh, I can put a three gallon bucket on there with my cast net in it. I can put my tackle box. We'll put three or four tackle boxes in there to take, uh, make good use of that space. And of course, this will be trimmed out. And, uh, then uh, I'm going to sand the outside of the boat down, plan on painting it. It won't be black anymore. Uh, I believe I'm going to paint it the blue, same color as my uh, F-150. So do that, put my stickers down the side, come back and tough coat the whole boat again and probably instead of the splatter black that I've got now it'll probably be splatter blue and on my rails I've got to build my bow rails coming down the side uh, I've only got uh, which is quite a bit I've got 10 lights now five on each side but it gives me plenty of room to expand I'm gonna space them out uh, where I can add another light in between them uh, if I need to go that route and uh, but yeah, that's what we've got. A lot of work. Still a lot of work left to do. But uh, 
we're working on it. I've got probably two months for my uh, Coast Guard license to come in, my captain's license. Got to get insurance, uh, charter insurance, stickers in Alabama, Mississippi. So I've got some time. So I'd rather be fishing, but it's going to be a little while, guys. But I just wanted to, this is going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to let y'all know, I know I hadn't put out a video in a long time. And that's what I've been doing. I've been going to sea school, got my license. Uh, so now I'm getting the boat where it's it's safe, it's efficient, and uh, we'll be able to have a good time. So keep that in mind. We'll have this baby ready in about two months, and I'll see y'all on the water. Thank y'all.